Hello, leaders. Hello, hello. I know this is not the time you usually see my face, but I have something important to share with you guys. I'm going to tag some people that I see are active on Facebook right now um, to get y'all's attention. I'm going to wait for some people to pop on. And if you're on, say hi. If you're watching a replay, please let me know. Hey, Danielle. Okay, so if you watched, first of all, if you haven't watched any of the trainings that people have done so far, please take time to do that. They're very short. Hey, Megan, they're very helpful. They are just amazing. I love it. I love to see the activity in this group. I love to see people sharing. I love to see people's faces. It's super important. Um, but... If you watch me and Anya's live on the first, we talked about um, a challenge that Dan gave us and that we were going to pass along to y'all as our leaders. And it is to sponsor three people this month. Now, the SSDs got together yesterday and we did a Zoom on how we can... Oh, I forgot to start the timer. I'm cooking dinner, so this is just... Timer on. There we go. Um, how we can do this. So if you are around, I don't even know what year it was. Not last year, but maybe the year before. They did a campaign type thing where it was active in April. Um, and that was just something that they were really focused on with people getting active. Well, with this challenge, um, we are doing a campaign type thing with our groups. Um, that's called Meet, Meet More in May. Meet more in May? Yes, meet more in May. Because, here's the thing, when I said the other day that we were going to do three, the challenge is to sponsor three people, and with that, Karen Fettis, who is the one who sponsor, that I mentioned who has sponsored 14 people in the last, was it, since mid-February? Uh, or no, she did 14 just last month. I don't even remember. It was 14 last month, and then... Between that, I don't even remember the total since mid-February, but that's when she really started focusing on her sponsoring. Um, she mentioned the three bracelet thing, which is what Megan just posted about. That is something they used to do back in the day when they didn't really have social media, but that's how they kept themselves accountable, okay? And um, with the Meet More in May campaign that we're doing, um, there, a few SSDs have made a few trackers and that is to connect, um, something that Heather Gorsuch did a while back. I think it was called drop 20, where it was just talking about having 20 conversations, not necessarily sponsoring conversations, not necessarily hosting conversations, but just getting out there and talking to people. We are combining that and my ATF, which is ask, track, follow up into a system to help keep ourselves accountable. Okay, so what does that look like? There are gonna be two trackers that I share with you. The first one is a, hey Amber, the first one is a spreadsheet. And it is, can be, it can be a little daunting to people who are not spreadsheet, spreadsheet people. Um, it's going to show you, it's gonna have a tracker for three conversations a day and then what their name is, when you had it, and just some notes, just like my ask track follow-up system that we have. The other one is going to be made by Lindsay Bates, and it is a calendar form with four bubbles in each day. And again, Meet More in May is not just about sponsoring, but it's about getting out there and having those conversations with people, um, talking to your customers, whether that be through follow-up or just checking in with them, um, meeting new people. Um, there's really no set parameters on it, except that we're talking to people, okay? Because a lot of people have lost sight that this is a people business and we have our customer base, right? And we love them and we talk with them and maybe we even party with them, but, I don't wanna turn my fan on to be too loud, but, we stay within that little circle of our customer base, right? So if we're not meeting new people, that pool of people to talk to or to ask about hosting and joining is gonna be small. You're gonna wear them out because 
you're going to ask them more than once, or you're going to bug the heck out of them about hosting when they don't want to do it. So the challenge with Meet More in May is that you're having just three conversations and you're going to track them. Okay. And you're going to realize how much you're not talking to people, or maybe you'll realize how much you are talking to people. Okay. Um, let me point this out real quick. Oh no, I don't have my stranger. Hold please. So with the meet more in May, you're going to be not just talking about your business, but talking to people in general. Okay. Um, if you want to do things like the three bracelets, you can, if you want to print the tracker and use that, you can, if you want to use the spreadsheet, you can, but this is a challenge for a reason. And I haven't heard many people except our top producers actually, um, say they want to do the challenge because it is a challenge, but I want to be clear that it's not just, jo it's not just join conversations. Um, it's literally just, we kind of took it from that because we want this to help in the long run in our business, right? So if, if we're meeting more people and we're, talk, we're talking to more people in our business, or if we're, we're just talking to people in general, our business is going to come up naturally. What do you do for a living? What do you do? You know, like, what? where have you been? What is your shirt? You know, like all of that is naturally gonna come up instead of you just forcing something down their, their throat. Now, so today, I got out of my comfort zone and this is what I, what I talked about like yesterday in the meeting was 99%, 98% of my business is and has been online parties. So the way that I have built my business is a lot different from a lot of specifically OGs because they did the old school way of like going door to door, which is not allowed in most places now, or toting the big bags of warmers and wax to people's houses, which... I could probably count on my two hands how many home parties I've ever done. Um, so my business has all been through online parties, meeting people that way and building a conversation that way, which is totally fine. But if I'm ready, if I'm going to grow, just like we tell y'all, if I'm ready to take it to the next level of meeting more people, especially being in a new um, area, I need to start doing something different. Let me put this in the oven. And that today was me, um, I had my surgery follow up today. So when I had my surgery pre-op, my, it actually wasn't the surgeon who did it because it was emergency surgery, but the surgeon who was supposed to do it, he had a sensing warmer in his office and, um, he had actually already asked me what I did for a living and he was, and I said, I'm a sensing consultant. And then I mentioned something about his warmer when I saw it and he said he got it as a gift. And I was like, okay, cool. So today at my follow up, I just gave him a bar and a car bar wrapped up super cute in a little bag with a thing on it. And at the end of my appointment, I was like, I brought this for you. And he was like, oh my gosh. And you could tell like his, I mean, he's always very friendly but his total mood changed. And he was like, I remember you saying that. And I said, yeah, well, I noticed that your warmer wasn't on when I came last time and I wanted to bring you some wax to put in your warmer to warm. And he was like, oh my gosh, I, I, I just went on and on about how much he loved it. And then I also brought a car bar for his nurse because she really helped me in the emergency part of my surgery with getting it scheduled and she or not scheduled but getting me back in there and so she wasn't there but I said I brought one for your nurse too but just because she was so helpful she was so friendly um which let's be honest is a little rare these days especially in daughter's offices and she, he was like I am going to make sure she gets this I'm going to put this on her desk she's out of the office right now and it was just a conversation that we had that he already knew I was a consultant right but in that situation where he's um at his job, we have to remember that we're almost always at our job. So, and that's really scary for me. I don't know why. Well, I do know why. It's because I don't ever do it. I'm always stuck to social media. I'm always stuck to messaging people. Um, if I do events, yes, I can get out there and meet people. But um, 
doing it like that, I very rarely do. So maybe I'll get a customer out of him and his nurse. Maybe I won't. But regardless, I made his day with a bar of wax. And God bless it. We know I have enough of that. So that was me getting out of my comfort zone. And that was a conversation for me today of my three. Um, there are four bubbles in the calendar. And that's just because we do have some overzealous people in this company. And they want to do more than three. They want to do four. So that's just like an optional bubble that you can use. Um, and I'll share those trackers with the explanations of those. But really, I, I want y'all obviously to have the sponsoring conversations. But if it's if it seems like I don't know what's, what it's called, but I have a lot where if if I have too much to do, I just won't do it because I'm like it's too much. That was me this morning. I have a very 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 long to do list, and I literally had to go through and star what I needed to get done today. Like no excuses, bare minimum, that's what I need to do. Um, and so with this meet more in May, three conversations is gonna look easier than three sponsoring conversations. But really having that conversation with people, with people out, um, whether that be gifting your doctor a bar and a car bar or wearing your Scentsy stuff out and just having conversations with people if they ask. Um, and one thing that I've really challenged myself to do is, and I didn't do it the other day, I'm being completely honest with y'all. I was at a stoplight and I looked to my left and there was a girl in her car and she had a scent circle hanging from her um, rear mirror. And I was like, I always have scent circles on me. And I was like, I should throw one in her window. Like, obviously get her attention and say, hey, I don't know if you have a Scentsy consultant, but here, here's a, here's a scent circle. Um, I didn't do it I, because I talked myself out of it before the light turned green and then she turned to the next one. But I was like, that is the consultant that I want to be. That's the leader I want to be. Um, but we know it's not always easy. So I'm doing this with y'all. Anya's doing this with y'all. Um, your top leaders are doing this with you. And if you don't feel like you have the support of your specific upline doing it with you, know that there are people in this family, in this leaders page that are. Um, and know that you're not alone. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about what we're doing and how we're doing it. And that's what we're doing in the SSD page too. We have pin posts and we're sharing conversations and we're keeping ourselves accountable with this challenge. Because here's the thing, guys, if this wasn't important, do you think that our CEO or our interim CEO would challenge us to do it? Probably not, right? So between that and the Scentsy Club subscriptions that he talked about, um, and I'm a goal-driven person, so you give me a goal, I'm like, yes, I can do that, right? Um, and hopefully some of y'all are like that too. It is very, very uncomfortable because... There's times that we'll be, we were in a tar Target parking lot one time and the person across from us had a sense of car. My internet's out because they're fixing it. But um, there was a lady with a car bar across from us and Eric was like, go get for a sense circle. And I was like, absolutely not. I am not doing that. So he's like, give me that. <laughs> and he walked over there and he gave it to her and he's like, here you go. And I never heard anything from her, but what is the fear? What is, what about it is scary? Probably the, um, probably the chance that someone may say no thank you or make you uncomfortable by saying I already have a Scentsy consultant or something by that. Um, but don't make it about a sale or make it about giving it to someone. Um, make it about you using your business to bless people. Because like I said, I have so many bars and car bars. I could go without a few to give out and make someone's day and start that conversation. Um, yes, Angela, yes. I literally was like, I brought them with me and I was like, I am not leaving the office until I give this to them. And when I got into the, um, when I got into the room, I took it out of my purse and put it on the counter so I couldn't go back. So kind of like drinking water where I'm like, I'm not going to do this until I finish my water. I'm not going to have a snack until I finish my water. Um, Kara, you are like literally the best at words and all the things. So if you need to practice, and I practiced before I went in there too. I was like, 
just wanted to give you some wax to put in your warmer that I saw because that was our last conversation. And he probably doesn't even remember that. He sees so many patients a day. Um, but so meet more in May is about having conversations. Um, you can keep track of your sponsoring and your hosting conversations, but it's about meeting more people and growing the customer base. So if y'all have any questions, let me know. I'm going to share those right after this video. Um, I hope you have a good night and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.